Okay, this is the White Rose Maths Barvember challenge for the 6th of November 2018. Um, I'm trying to do these cold, so I um, try not to sort of plan or look at my solution beforehand so that it more accurately reflects what it might be like to um, figure out how best to represent a problem like this. Because it's, um, you know, remember that this bar modelling, this, this is a visualisation tool so that you can figure out what it is that you need to do, how, you know, to work it out. There's no perfect solution. The solution is something that has to work for you so that you can understand what's going on, so that you can see what calculations to perform. Um, some of the more sort of um, fluent, um, practiced mathematicians amongst us might find it a lot easier to just see what's happening. Um, but for the rest of us, we might benefit from um, a sort of diagram to see what I need to do. OK, well, let's have a look. There are 160 yellow and blue balls in total in a box. OK, two fifths of the yellow balls are removed and two thirds of the blue balls are removed. The total number of balls left in the box now is 72. And we are asked how many blue balls there were at the start. Now, um, although we're given some fractions here, we're not actually told how they relate to each other. We, we don't know um, if the, there were more yellow balls or more blue balls. We don't know anything like that. We don't know how they relate to each other. So um, all I can do is, if I want to, to draw blocks, I might think of doing something like this, where I've got one, two, three, four, five parts. So these, these are fifths, and these are yellow. Okay, so this is how I'm representing yellow. All right, this might be yellow. And then blue, I could represent then like this. Now, these parts are not the same. This is my drawing. I know that. So these are blues. I, I don't know how these relate to each other at all. Um, but I know that when I had five fifths and the three thirds, right, when I had all of them in place, there were 160. So that I do know. OK, and I also know that um, if I removed two of those um, two of those blocks and two of those blocks, I was left with 72. I could choose to draw that again like this. So I'm going to have um, how many left? I'm going to have three fifths left. So one, two, three of these yellows and I'm going to have um, one blue left. OK. So this is before, after. All right, and that's um, 72. OK. Um, I think I'm going to sort of redraw this and do this in a different way now that I've seen what's happening. I'm actually going to... Um, I could keep on drawing blocks, but actually I'm just going to use letters because I think that will be clearer for me. All right. So um, here, one, two, three, four, five. I could say that five yellows, one, two, three, four, five yellows and three blues, three portions of blue, as it were. That was 160. OK, I also know that when I had only three yellows and one blue. Well, when I say yellow, I mean a portion of yellow as here. That was 72. OK, so um, an interesting thing to do might be to find out what is the difference. Now, the difference between 160 and um, 72 is, so we've got um, 160 take away 60, which is 100 take away another 12. That gives me 88. So 88, all right, 160 
take away 12. And what is the, so that's the difference here. What's the difference here? Well, the difference between this and this is two Bs. And the difference between five Ys, blocks of Y, and three blocks of Y is two. Okay, so I know that two Ys and two Bs are worth um, 88. Now, how does this help us? Because we want to find out, we need to get to a point where we can establish how much a Y is worth or how much a B is worth. Well, what I can do is I can find out what a Y and a B is worth because I can half this. All right, that's going to give me 44. Okay, if I half 88, I get 44. And if I half of two portions of B is one portion of B and half of two Y's is one Y. So I now know that a Y and a B is 44. Okay, is that helping me any? Ah, right, okay, here I have just one B. And if I subtracted this part from this, I would just end up with three Y's. Okay, so I'm going to um, subtract that from that. Okay, so I'm going to take um, 44 away from 72. Okay, so and that's going to give me then, so three Y's take away two Y's, so I'm going to have um, two Y's. Okay. I'm going to have B, take away B. I'm not going to have any Bs left. And that's going to give me 28. All right, so I now know that two Ys are 28. So one Y, which is half that, must be 14. So hooray, I've now managed to work out what one of the values is. Y equals 14. Okay, so now, what was I asked? I was asked how many blue balls there were at the start. Now, so I still need to work out what um, a blue ball is. Okay, so if, um, if a Y and a B is 44 and a Y is 14, then B must be 30. Okay, and we're asked how many blue balls there were at the start. Well, these I now know that each of these is 30 so the total is 90 okay so I know that there were 90 blue balls at the start and I might want to check this okay how could I check I mean I've just gone on to this you know very sort of complicated looking thing I might have lost be, be worried that I've lost the plot a bit. I can go back and check. I think that a B is worth 30. All right, that would make that 90. And I think that a Y is worth 14. So each of these is 14. And one, two, three, four, five. Five times 14 is indeed 70. And 90 plus 70 gives me 160, so I know I'm right.